Feel free to shame women. A woman you know, a woman who is related to you, your girlfriend, your wife, some stranger. Feel free. Go ahead and shame women. They're fat, you tell them you're fat. They're stupid or saying stupid th things or doing stupid things, say you're doing stupid things. They are acting or behaving in ways that are detrimental to them, to, to themselves, right? Detrimental to their health, to their well-being, to their mental health, whatever it is. When you see a woman doing something negative that hurts them or hurts others, tell them, shame them, say, don't do this, stop doing this because it's bad. Absolutely. You know why? Because it is bad, see? A woman who stuffs her face with 10,000 calories at a single meal, she's gonna balloon into some sort of whale, right? She's gonna die. She's gonna die young, 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 like in her 30s. She's gonna die because of her heart bursts. She's gonna die because of diabetes. She's gonna die a horrible death because of overeating, because she cannot control herself, because nobody is standing up and saying, stop eating, what you're doing is wrong, you are fat. Stop it. Did it with a promiscuous girl. Some girl who's hopping from cock to cock to cock. What the hell do you think that that does to a poor girl's psychology? To her soul, huh? It destroys her. She becomes the sexual plaything of, of strangers. And that just eats away at who she is. And, you know, I, we laugh about the thousand cock stare, but it's true. And that hard, glassy look of the thousand cock stare, what is it? Is it a good thing? Is it something to aspire to? No, it's certainly not. It's something awful. You see a promiscuous woman, you find out about her, you have a chance to speak to her, you tell her, stop doing that. That's wrong. It's not wrong for me as a man. Sure, I'd love to have you know another notch on my, on my bedpost. Yeah, I won't mind banging you. It's not that it's bad for me, it's bad for you. That's what you have to tell them. You have to tell them that I am shaming you, not in order to, for myself to feel better about myself. No, it's so that you improve as a woman, as a human being for crying out loud. Look what you are doing to yourself. You overeat, you overindulge on food, you overindulge in sex, you, you, you speak in a slatternly way with disgusting vocabulary. Who is that harming? Is that harming me? No, it's not. If you eat and you stuff your face until you are a whale, it does not affect me. If you act like a whore, it does not affect me. If you speak in a slatternly and disgusting manner, it does not affect me. It only hurts you. That's why I am shaming you. You know these girls who do this slut walk stuff and they are proud of the promiscuity and something to be celebrated? The shameful attitude? No, 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 no. We men have to reacquire the moral self-confidence to say, this is good and this is bad. And we have to tell women, this is acceptable, this is good, good for our society and good for you as women. And we have to tell them, this that you are doing is bad. Bad for our society and bad for you. Permissive decadent cultures try to erode people's moral self-confidence because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about having the moral self-confidence to say this is right and this is wrong. And what a decadent society needs is for people to feel too embarrassed to say this is right and this is wrong. Uh, th that's what they need. They, they need to say things like, oh, oh, who are you to judge? Or, or what do you know? Or it's my body, my life, my whatever, and you be quiet. They need that. They need that, that embarrassment that we will have, that we do have, that we have been socialized into having. Because nowadays, how many people do you know walk around saying, this is good and this is bad? Uh, how many people say that? How many people talk in such terms? Very few. Why? Because we have been socialized into rescinding a moral point of view. We have been socialized into saying, well, you know, if, if you want to do it, that's okay. I'm not going to say anything. No, uh-uh. Yeah, we've been turned into moral cowards. That's what's going on. Too afraid to stand up and say, this is right and this is wrong. 
but we know what things are right and we know what things are wrong now don't we it's not like a big secret yeah you don't have to be a big brain to figure out when some fat slob who keeps on shoving food into her pie hole is that that, that that's wrong or that when some girl is acting like a whore that that's wrong I mean, at least with a whore, you can respect her because she's getting money for it, right? I mean, she decided consciously that she was going to earn her living by selling sex for money. At least you can respect her for a good businesswoman, for crying out loud. But so many of these young promiscuous girls, they just sleep around because they are told to, that it's okay. They indulge in their sexual appetite and they destroy themselves. We have to say no. And the funny thing is that women need shame in their lives. Women need limits. They yearn for limits. Yes, because women fundamentally recognize that the path that they are on in the Western democracies is a huge mistake. They recognize it and they perhaps might not be able to articulate it, but they sense it in their bones. The unhappiness of so many women. I mean, how many women are so damn unhappy? Yeah, you read about it all the time. All these women who lived hedonistic lives and gave in to every impulse and nobody was around to say that this was wrong. And they lived these lives during their teens and their 20s and into their 30s and all of a sudden they start hitting late 30s and into their 40s. And their lives are filled with regret. Uh, they have some job or some career but they feel miserable. They have nothing. Yeah? And, they, and they examine themselves and they realize that they have made a horror out of their bodies, out of their souls, out of their beings. They overindulged and nobody said anything. And they are living in the aftermath of decadence in their lives. And the fat ones start to die off young. And the women who have had countless abortions in their 20s and 30s discover that they are now sterile. Hmm? And yeah, this is the consequence of a life without limits. And they recognize it and they yearn for these limits. You have a woman in your life, yeah, girlfriend, wife, whatever, huh? and she's acting in ways that are wrong. Not just necessarily wrong for you, but wrong for her. Yeah? Tell her. Tell her, say, honey, what you're doing, that's fucking wrong. And it's going to be bad for you, so stop doing it. And what is she going to do? She's going to say, oh, who are you to say anything? And you say, I am your man, and I am telling you that what you're doing is wrong, so stop it. And if she says, no, I'm going to keep on doing what I want, blah, 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 I say, okay, fine, I'll leave you. And leave her. Yeah. Oh, it's simple as that, okay? And you say to me, well, you know, she's the only pussy I got. Well, buddy, I'm telling you here, man, I know for a fact that there is better pussy just around the corner. There is always better pussy around the corner. Huh? I'm going to trade the, I'm going to trademark that fucking sentence. There is always better pussy just around the corner. Oh, you're, the woman you're with who is acting like a pig, the woman you are with who has a complete pigsty of a house, the woman who you are with acts like a harpy, the woman you are with has a mouth like a drunken sailor, you tell her stop it and you threaten her. You threaten her not with physical violence, of course not. I would never advocate such a thing and I am not advocating it ever. You threaten her with leaving her because if you don't leave her, it's going to be worse for you. Yeah, because if you're with a woman who has no limits, who just does whatever pops into her head, and she disregards your valid criticisms and your attempts to put her in line, put her within limits that are sensible, uh, she's going to cause havoc in your life. She's going to cause misery to you. Why would you be with such a woman? Yeah, tell her, don't do this. Stop doing it. Shame her. Shame her like a man. Like a man with a point of view, a moral point of view. Because you know what's right and what's wrong. You know it. You don't need me to tell it. You don't need a priest to tell it. You know. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. So stand up and say so. And if the woman you are with does not like this, then you know that she is not the woman for you. And you leave her. And if you leave her, what's going to happen is one of two things. Either you will never see her again, and therefore good riddance to bad rubbish, or she will come to you, and she will do what you say. And that is good. That is a good thing. And take her back. Take her back, but don't slouch. Don't let her slide. 
Uh uh. She says that she's going to change, she better change. And if she doesn't change, then leave her and never look back. Because a woman who sweet talks you once into coming back, but then keeps on doing the same shit she was doing before, she's not worth it. She's always going to play this game. You don't want her in all your life. And you just leave her behind. Okay? Trust me, I know there is always better pussy just around the corner. But if she does change, if she truly does, and she's trying her best to change and be a decent woman, a good woman, a woman with limits, so that she herself is happy and therefore becomes a better woman, a happier woman, and makes you happy, well then support her and help her, of course. But don't be afraid to say goodbye. Never be afraid to say goodbye. Because if you are afraid of saying goodbye, if you are afraid of kicking her out that door or you yourself walking out that door, if you are afraid of that, then you are her slave. And what do you want to be? Do you want to be a slave or do you want to be a free man? Hmm? Now, a final note about shame, shaming a woman. Don't hesitate to shame a woman and understand that shame is one of the most powerful emotions. It's one of the most powerful emotions and it is the reason that we have the civilization that we have. The civilization, this breathtaking, incredible civilization that we have, is precisely built on shame. On shaming people into doing the right thing. Because you see, we all know what is the right thing. It, it, like I said, we don't need a priest, we don't need a big brained anybody to tell us what's right. We all have a moral intuition. And nine times out of ten, our moral intuition is right on the money. Mm? We all know what's right and what's wrong, but the thing is, see, what's wrong is so much easier. Yeah? Because to do the right thing is always hard. And just because it's hard for a woman, don't think that it's not hard for you. And a lot of times you act in ways that should be shamed, and you know it. Huh? If you're going to shame others, be open to being shamed yourself. But that's for another video, the point here. The woman you are with, the woman in your life, the friends that you have, the people that you know, all these women, they need to be shamed so that they start acting in ways that are true and good and decent. And the decadence and degenerates that have turned tolerance into permissiveness, they're the ones that you have to fight. And they're the ones who are going to be screeching the loudest at this video. They're going to say that I'm evil, that I'm an evil misogynist. <laughs> right? Of course they're going to say that. Because they want to keep on with their permissiveness. Mm -hmm. Tolerance is accepting something that you do not like. Permissiveness is saying nothing to degeneracy. It's totally different. Tolerance, we have become so tolerant that we have turned into permissiveness and we are allowing decadence and we see it all the time. We see how children, small children, are being turned into catamites and, and turned into these disgusting beings and being shown imageries and, 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 and situations that are completely beyond the pale. They're children for crying out loud. And they are being, uh, you know, uh, uh, destroyed by this decadence and permissiveness. We have to turn the tide. And how do we turn the tide? By shame. Shame is what created the civilization and shame, shaming the right people, the people who break the moral code. That's what will get us back.